I'm in love with this. Look at it. When they say the highlight is popping, that's what they mean. Oh my gosh. Oh, the music's kind of loud in here. So, I'm in the Reformation Popper, which is super cool. Reformation have opened a store in Seven Dials, Covent Garden. And it's really cute. It's like they've got quite a lot of their stuff in here, which is like stuff that I saw in New York. They look very cute. So, if anyone's around and wants any Reformation pieces and saves yourself paying for the shipping and stuff, you should definitely pop by their Comet Garden store, it's super cute. And of course, it's as beautifully designed as their store on Howard in New York City. So, it's Monday and I'm in King's Cross Station. I'm in this weird entrance, I've never been into this entrance, but... Yeah, it's fine. So I'm heading over to Covent Garden now. I have a meeting with Fresh Skincare, which is why I'm all fresh faced. So for the past few weeks, I've been using some products that Fresh gifted me um, to try them out and like see what's best. So I went for a consultation with them and what was really interesting was that they told me that my skin was dehydrated, which is something I've never really assumed for my skin because like growing up, I was kind of acne prone and I've just always been in the habit of using things to avoid my skin from breaking out which has led it to be dehydrated. So they told me to like switch up my skincare, gave me a bunch of products to use, and oh my God, my skin is like so happy at the moment. I have literally not a single spot on my face at all. So I'm going back today to have like a follow-up consultation, and then we're gonna talk a little bit more about my skin, what my skin needs, and like what other products I guess they would recommend for my skin. So I will take you guys with me. I'm running late, I don't know where I am. But now on Monmouth Street. Is that how you pronounce it? Monmouth. Monmouth? Mm -hmm. On Monmouth Street in Covent Garden. Um, so I came here a few weeks ago. I'm not sure if you guys might have seen on Instagram. I came by and I had like a quick consultation. So I took back a few bits. I've been using their skincare and like if you've watched my channel for long enough you'll know that I've like really struggled with like managing the oil on my skin and like dehydration and then especially with traveling and stuff it just really messes up my balance basically but since I've been back I've been using their range and literally look at me I'm literally like feeling myself with no makeup on which is very rare so I've just come back to the store and we've just gone through a whole like regime of the products that I would use for this time of year basically for my skin type and what had been helping so I'll just talk you through like what I've been using so far and like new products that they've been telling me about today so I use a sea berry um, skin cleansing oil get that to focus so it's using this as like a pre-cleanse, so it's putting this directly on top of my makeup. I don't really wear like foundation every day, but I do normally wear concealer every day with like a bit of powder and stuff. So I've been putting that directly on and it literally just melts all your makeup away. So I've been putting that on and like getting all my mascara and getting everything going. And then I've been using their soy face cleanser for quite a while. I really like this product and a lot of my friends, Jill, Jill, Jill told me about this literally like a year ago when we lived together in France, but she's like a massive, massive fan of this. And when I went to New York last year, I was introduced to it and I've been using it like quite regularly now and it's just such a nice light cleanser. I don't know if you've like seen me before, I really was like quite an advocate for the creme, not creme de mer, well I like creme de mer, but um, La Roche Posay F Clar range. And that's because like I was quite acne prone before, but this is like a much lighter cleanser and it hasn't got any like like chemically things in and you can really feel the difference like on your skin. So, and then after using those two, I was using their soft cream. This is like the most luxurious moisturizer that I've like literally ever felt on my face. It's like insane, but it's like super light. So I was literally putting that on and then just going straight in with my foundation. And I've like always suffered with an oily T-zone and I haven't really been like getting that much oil on my T-zone throughout the day and stuff, so a fan. But these are the new products that I've been spoke to about today. So I'm gonna flip the camera so you can see. So this is the infusion, this is a 10, can't even talk, this is a toner. <laughs> the serum, same range, and then this is another serum, this is their black tea one. This feels insane. So in comparison to a lot of like anti-aging serums that I've used before, like if you think Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, things like that, this is like super light in comparison. Um, just feels really light and just absorbs straight into the skin. Rather than Advanced Night Repair, for me just kind of like sits on top of my skin and I'll go to sleep and just feel really like, 
kind of like greasy and gross. I'm like, is this working? I can like feel it on my face, but I don't know if anything's happening. And then they also introduced me to their eye cream, which is really similar to the face cream. It's the same range, but it's super, super thick, like an eye cream should be. So you only need like the tiniest amount. Pop it right in, right in. And then I was also introduced to their elixir oil, which you mix in with the original soft cream because the soft cream is super thick. It's a super thick product, so breaking it down with a bit of an oil just helps the absorption a bit more and it smells amazing. And then this was the toner that they introduced me to today. It's the rose one, which is kind of like their entry level one, the lady said to me, which is like an easier one that someone that's got dehydrated skin that's not really sure about skincare would kind of go straight in and use this kind of one. So, that's a lot of talking, but honestly, you guys, if you're in London, you should definitely pop by the store. It's a free consultation. Anyone can come in and grab one and learn a bit more about your skin, learn a bit more about the company and the products. They're really natural, super natural based, not full of chemicals and craziness. They're actually extremely affordable, if <laughs> surprisingly. Like, I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, I probably should be expensive, and you're always going about expensive products and stuff, and it's not expensive, especially if it's Christmas. They have amazing Christmas gift sets in here. I really, really try hard to show you guys products that I would use myself personally and that I think that are within everyone's range of being able to achieve and purchase and stuff so I hope that you appreciate that and you will definitely come by the store and give them a try. <laughs> and this evening I've come to Disco Yoga so I'm waiting for Lauren. Lauren's always late. If you watch my Snapchats, if you watch the vlog you'll know that Lauren's always late but Lauren's my plus one this evening so we're coming together. She's late. I'm wearing like crazy ass leggings of course because it's a disco theme like I kind of wish I didn't have my braids and my afro was out it would have been super cool but um my hair's braided anyway so it's for a class this evening which is meant to be like combining disco yoga together I don't really know what to expect like so I could be something fun to show you guys so I'm gonna try and vlog as much as possible I think there's alcohol involved or mocktails <laughs> This is so messy, so messy, but this should be fun anyway. 